What is going on guys, welcome back to another Rugby 20 video. Today we're just going to be playing around with the game yet again. Uh, last time we went ahead and did the World Cup mode and uh, it was very enjoyable, I quite liked it and I can't wait to see more tournaments that will be on Rugby 20. Uh, we found out a lot of things about Rugby 20 since those videos came out as well. Uh, we found out Rugby 20 is kind of like confirming and denying the whole editing option of the teams. So we don't actually know if you will get to edit teams to an extent where you'll get to basically make like the All Blacks teams and stuff. We don't know that yet. We also don't know if you'll be able to make your own tournaments as of right now either. Uh, but we do know the game is good, but it's not as good as when it first came out in Phase 2. Well, when it first came in Phase 2 anyway. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the game today and uh, just see what we can do with it basically. Welcome back to another rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Right, let's go to the quick match, guys. Um, I think we'll we'll give... Hmm, let's do a Six Nations. Yeah, let's do Six Nations because obviously it's coming up very soon. Uh, so we're going to play as... Let's do... We're going to play as Italy, and we are going to be playing Ireland, I think would be a good one. Yeah, let's do Ireland. Uh, Ireland should be playing in their away and their home. We'll play in the Stadio Olimpico. Obviously, all the stadiums are unlicensed, but it's basically the Stadio Olimpico. Come on, it's like the Olympic Stadium is obviously is meant to be designed on that. Uh, team management. Let's have a look who we've got. Tommaso Allen, that's the main one we want. Bellini, yeah, Tibaldi. Parise is playing. Uh, and on the other wing, Padovani, yeah, he's a good player in this game as well. Padovani is actually, I think he's rated the high, I think he's the highest rated Italian player in the starting lineup. Uh, we have Carlo Cano as well. Uh, he's fly half. He's actually, is he better than Thomas, Tommaso Allen? Yeah, so we're going to have Cano in fly half. Um, let's have a look. I won't stay too long on this bit because it is quite like obviously boring to watch. Um, right, okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, options. As you can see, we're playing on semi-pro. It's going to be night. No, no, it's going to be daytime. It's got to be realistic as possible. It's annoying that no other team as well does the nighttime matches. It's always Wales or France. Nobody else seems to want to do it. I'm guessing it's probably because for like police security and stuff like that and it's probably a lot of funding to do so it's understandable but the nighttime matches I love I just feel like it's a better atmosphere at night it's nice to be able to like get your day out of the way and then come home after work and then have about four hours here in the UK time and then the match begins it's a lot nicer and then obviously it's a good time to drink and stuff then Friday night so I'm a fan of the night games but Again, the unions aren't really, and I can understand that with the whole funding, and it obviously costs quite a bit of money, I'd imagine, anyway, with the police and stuff like that, I'd imagine. But anyway, I think it's a good idea to get other teams involved, but they won't, so I don't know. That's enough I've got to say on that, anyway. Wow, well, it's, uh, it's a big Olympic stadium, isn't it? This, that's quite a good shot. I mean, usually it looks really, like, badly done, but this, this one looks quite more realistic. And then you turn around and it's not as good. That Parisi model's not very good. It's not bad, though. I mean, like, compare it to Rugby 08's graphics, it's a lot better. I have Rugby 08 here, actually, guys. The UK version. <laughs> as I lock everything up over and sneeze at the same time. No, oh, I was disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, the Italian team. I think the Parise model really needs to be sorted out, but there we are. They've all now got their proper like uh, pictures as well. So, it's a good thing. Let's go ahead and get into the game. We've seen enough cutscenes. Right, here we go. I've been trying to like do more set plays more often, trying to get the hang of it. Uh, turnovers. And like people that's complaining about the rucks, I personally feel that the rucks are not even that bad. Everybody's saying that it's like way too easy to win the ball back. I don't know. It's my opinion, but I feel like they're quite good. But there we are. Kind of says a lot when I still like kind of struggle to win the ball back sometimes. I think it's good though. Here we go. 
Bellini. Ah. Oh. Right. Oh god, no, I lost it. See, this is what I mean. I think it's quite balanced out, but never mind. It's just me playing crappily at rugby twenty. They have to get the ball to the winger. Also, a very uh, unpopular opinion I have on Italy. I think Sergio Parisi isn't as good as he used to be, and I think maybe it's time. Padovani! Hang on, I'll finish what I'm saying in a minute. Yeah, I feel like maybe it's time for Italy to find a new captain and maybe think of putting Parisi on the bench. Like, he's still a good player, but I just feel like he doesn't make an impact that he does, that he used to do anyway. Go on! Oh! Jonathan Sexton, yellow card. I'll take that any day, thank you very much. Alright, here we go. Alright, scrum. First scrum of the match. We need a good scrum. The Italian scrum is usually pretty good, so... Here we go. In it goes. Alright, here we go. Oh god, we've lost a scrum, maybe. No, we've got a good... Got, oh, we've lost it, damn it. Nail him. There's the tackle. Here's the run. Ah, I see what you mean. With the whole press square to get the ball quickly, it is a lot easier. Brilliant defense. So that I can understand. Oh, here we go. Padovani. He's through. Is he gonna he's not gonna get there? Damn it. Come on. They took the ball in and it's still there. Wide. And again. And again. What? Knock on? Where is the knock on? Oh, because that's a brilliant shot. We can clearly see the knock on from there. Time Bloody hell. Scrum. You know what? Who needs to see a close up? Let's go all, all the way back to the stands. The two packs gearing up for this scrum inside the Murray 22. Now we've lost it again. This is not good. Five, six. The ball fed in. Oh, here we go. Come on, we need to get Murray. a good bind going. That was fabulous. Oh, here we go. We've won the scrum. Push the opposing pack and win the ball. There's no one over there. One. And what the hell? What happened then? There's not a great deal of support there. They still have control of the ball. Just a few minutes before the end of the first half. What a tackle. Right, wide. Come on, we need to try. Full half time. Go on. Bellini. Ah, oh, he's nailed. That was a good tackle, though. Ah, oh, Tiboldi. Tiboldi. Ah. Oh. Italy. And they drive in to secure the ball. And again. That looks like it'll be a rock. Sexton piles in to get the ball for his And again, and again, and again. That's a try. Surely, yes. Come on, Italy, we can beat them. We can, ah, I cannot talk. We can beat them. Alright, kick going. Should we get this? Carlo can it. Yes, we're 7 0 at half time. I'll take that. Against Ireland as well, that's pretty good. Let's get into the next half. We're playing okay. Blow the whistle from the referee, and we're underway again at the start of the second half. Right, Parise, do your kick thing, just kick it away. There you go. Van der Fleer recovers the ball. Oh. That's surely that's out on the full, takes no? The ball to the ground. And he kicks the ball clear. The ball's taken. Okay, that was probably a poor option. A great platform to attack from here, from this rock. The defence had him well and truly covered. Ah, oh, nailed. Mahoney, who's grabbed by Tanner. Ball kept by Ireland. The scrum half launches play. They set up a ruck. Excellent defense. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it is kind of too easy to get the ball Ball's back. Especially considering realistic. Oh, oh Bellini! Ah, oh, yeah, realistically, Ireland wouldn't really give away Ireland the ball this much. Really well I can understand the, the tier 2 team for this option to be available, but They're Jesus, he came out of nowhere. They've held on to the ball. But yeah, I just think well, really I kind of agree with everybody else now. Ah, oh, Padovani still chasing. Nail it. Ah, uh, good turn to be fair. Oh, catch. That no, we're not that away. Easy. He chooses to get out of his own 22 by kicking. Ball taken by Conway. 
So my thoughts on Rugby 20, I would say it's a good game. Uh, I think they should really go back to how Phase 2 played. I felt it was a lot better. Oh, he's nailed. Um, I think the Rucks, again, I kind of agree with everybody. You kind of win the ball back way too easily. Uh, obviously, this video is coming out as well. Like The beta is not going to be available anymore. Uh, so these are actually pre-recorded. Because uh, I just felt like we it'd be nice to be able for you guys to see how Phase 3 played out for a lot more longer. So that's why I've done a lot more videos and trying to schedule them out. Uh, but I think it, I think it's good. I think it's going to be a lot better with career mode. And I think it's going to be really cool having all those licenses as well. Ah, oh, Padovani. He's a bloody brilliant player for Italy. Nail him. Um, yeah, I'm personally looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing more on it. I think it runs okay. I think it's a lot better than Rugby 18. Uh, I was never really a fan of Rugby Challenge Series. Obviously, that will be coming out as well. So, I will be doing that as well. Um, but as of right now, Rugby 20 is the only game we've got. And it's not bad. I think it's okay. And I'm looking forward to it. And that's basically all I've got to say in this video about it. So, yeah. <laughs> I think... Ah, oh, Bellini. Ah. Oh. I think I'm just going to kick it out. Yeah, I, last, I, I'm going to learn from my mistakes and just kick it out. Just look what happened against Argentina in the career mode that I did. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out because that was just shocking. Have I got like a smear on the screen? Is that why I'm blurry? I don't know. I seem like blurry. I don't know. But yeah, that is uh, the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a like down below and uh, comment. Let me know what you thought as well. I don't know. I seem like... Slightly blurred, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hope you did. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like down below. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought of this video, and uh, let me know what improvements you'd like to see in Rugby 20. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We do loads of rugby gaming stuff. Stay tuned for all that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another episode. Peace out, guys.